Well, the airplane was proposed back in the days of President Jimmy Carter, and that proposal was turned down. Jimmy said no, and then President Reagan came into office, and in 1981 he said yes. In fact, there will be 100 of these built. Rockwell International, the prime contractor on this beautiful four-engine bomber, you'll see that its wings are in the swept position. They have the ability to sweep full forward for low speed, for takeoff and for landing and for a high speed environment back to 67 and a half degrees. Wow. <laughs> 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 that it was authentic. And they set new distance, speed, and altitude records with the B-1B just two years ago. Climb up 200 feet above the cliff or the forest. You cruise there for a while, here comes a mountain range. Automatically, here comes the power, and the autopilot pitches up. You actually climb up the mountain at about 200 feet. Then you peek out over the mountain. The nap of the earth autopilot then retards the throttles, pitches the nose down, and you follow the contour or the terrain of the mountain down the back side, again staying out of the enemy's radar. Then when you get to the site, the pilots are fresh, bombs away, and direct hit. All right. Four afterburning engines, uh, two on either side of that half tail position. Recently we've heard about a, a consolidation of the B-1B fleet. We used to talk about four bases in the country are ready, on ready reserve to go fly when the time comes and when they need to. It's the last high speed pass. As they turn the corner, they'll be careful to keep it under the speed of sound, low and to your right. Uh, the final pass before the pitch out and departure, the Rockwell B-1B. I hate to be a critic though, but I've seen this thing, this thing can do better than what it does. Well, the crew will be taking a peek down at Andrews, so everybody, if you will, get ready to wave. There they go, the burner. This crew is part of it. Our salute to armed services. Armed Forces Day, wave to the B-1B, if you will. Those wings are tucked back. Oh, yes.